everyone welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm doing my second Halloween look for this month year um, I am calling this look blood sugar witch because I'm going to be mainly using my Jeffree Star blood sugar palette I'm obsessed with this palette it's currently my go-to um, I am basing every look that I do um, off of what I found off of Pinterest and stuff so this is the look I am basing it off of um, so that is the look we are going after credits to whoever obviously this look was created by because she looks freaking amazing and mine is not going to look any like mine is going to be like the Powerland version of that. So I have already done my brows. One brow looks amazing, the other brow doesn't. Ignore that. Um, and I've also done my foundation. If you want to know how I do my brows, go over to my beauty Instagram and I have a pictorial over there on how I do my brows. Um, and yeah so I've done foundation and brows um, if you want to know the products I used I am obsessed with this Primark foundation at the moment it's only £2.50 um, it's the my perfect color perfect finish foundation medium to full coverage and it's got moisturizing vitamin E in it I absolutely freaking love it that is my everyday foundation um, obviously um, I use my revolution brow pomade with my elf brow pencil um, along with my Rimmel London Brow This Way styling gel for my brows and then obviously I carve and prime my eyelids with my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. So that is the products I have used off camera because I just think that you know, those are just, oh my god I'm making noise, um, those are just you know standard that's boring that's not really it is part of the look but it's not part of the look if that makes sense so anyway i've got my base down and now we're going to get into this look right okay so i kind of practiced the eye look the other night and honestly it looks amazing so go opening up blood sugar obviously you don't have to use blood sugar if you don't have it you can use whatever you want but obviously I am going to be using blood sugar because I am obsessed so with a fluffy brush you can already tell I've used this <laughs> um, I am going in with the shade prick um, and we are just going to pop that into our crease and blend this baby out. Hi pigment. I mean I am lightly blending this out and look at this pigment. I am like you can see why I'm obsessed with this. What you want to do is you just want to build it up until you get your desired effect blend until your arm aches basically blend honey blend I don't know why my eyebrow looks crooked like on this side it, it, to me it looks crooked like on camera it looks okay I guess just keep adding <laughs> okay so once you have blended just can't okay. I am going in to deepen this shade even more with cherry soda which is directly next to it. We are basically using the four bottom shades along the bottom here. So up next is cherry soda. We're going to blend the two together but with cherry soda you want to sort of pack it more into the crease and work your way down because you still want some of that bright red on the top so kind of like an ombre effect 
really just blend um, it down onto the lid even but also blend them together as well just to create a nice deep blood colour and you can also blend it all together if you want to that's what I like to do, I kind of like to I don't know, I'm literally going against what I've literally just said but you know, do whatever the hell you want okay, then once you have blended out how you like it you are then going to go with a little pack brush now you can go in with I think that she's got like quite a dark almost like a black shade on hers but I'm gonna go in with the next shade over which is fresh meat which is a very dark burgundy purplish red I'm gonna pack that onto the outer corner of my eye and just really sort of pack that on there to really deepen the look um, obviously you can use a, a dark a darker colour but I think this does it for me especially when you're going in with liner later you just pack that on there and you know just kind of doesn't matter if it's messy or not because it's Halloween but this is quite a glam look I feel Ooh, yes okay next up You want to add a bit of um, sparkle to this because it wouldn't be my kind of a tutorial even if you are following this as a tutorial you're probably not um, I am going to take my revolution cut crease canvas with this with my tiny little brush here which I absolutely love using um, and I'm going to do a half cut crease with this here we go a little bit messy there, it's fine, don't worry about that oh. try not to elbow on your table while you're doing this and just I'm getting that cut crease. There we go. One crease cut. And then I like to go in with a flat head cream shadow brush. And going in with the shade Blood Sugar. So we've literally used all of these colours. So you start off here and end off with Blood Sugar. And then what you want to do, obviously, is just pack this gorgeous blood shade onto that cut crease. Yes. Blend it out a little bit as well. And then you have your uh your eye shadow base down base no the base was the concealer honey like okay so i just realized that my camera stopped filming i don't know when it stopped filming um but i'm currently taking a black eyeliner <laughs> Um, onto my bottom waterline and also popping it in 
just to really make the eye pop. So, just to recap, because my camera cut out, we went in with the shade Prick, first of all onto the eyelid, and then we blended in the shade Cherry Soda in with that. Then, to deepen the look on the outer corner, we used the shade Fresh Meat, and then we did a half cut crease, and we used the beautiful shade Blood Sugar uh, just on that cut crease there. So, now I'm going to add uh, a wing once I have, so basically what you want to do is you want to add a wing um, and some mascara to this look, but I'm going to do this other eye off camera real quick. Now that both eyes are done, kind of, almost, <laughs> with any excess oh, hiccup on your brush, you're going to just blend some underneath the eye as well. I'm going to dip into cherry soda and fresh meat just to pop some under the eye just a little bit in there oh god that's quite a bit never mind okay so i have also um popped some concealer under my eyes because we want this look to look sickening not sick um so next up She has got, um, she's contoured with red and she's also got red on her nose. So let's um, contour, let's grab a brush that I don't really use, an old fluffy brush. Gonna uh, dip into the shades Cherry Soda and Fresh Meat again, just sort of mix the two. And kind of do like a blush contour kind of thing with these and just okay this is basically half my face but you get the idea okay Oh my gosh. <laughs> Never contoured up the shade like this. Ooh. Hi pigment. Like I am literally obsessed with this palette if you haven't guessed already. There we go, honey. Okay, then same shades again on the end of my nose. This is slowly turning into a, a Christmas look. It's like Rudolph. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> I mean, my nose actually looks cute now. <laughs> okay, so now she has a crescent moon on her forehead. There we go. So we're gonna try and do that now. Um, this is the fun part. <laughs> Let's grab a brush that is kind of pointy. So I can draw this out, how I? 
Because I've got a brush. Yes, I do. Really, really thin brush. I'm just going to take Cherry Soda. And I'm just going to try. And draw. Crescent Moon. So, backward C, basically. So let's stick in her up a minute. Let's see if that makes it a little better. It won't, but we can try. I look crazy. Um, and then. Nikki, what are you doing? Sorry about the noises in the background, if you can hear any. Okay. We are kind of getting there. Just fill her in a little bit. Just to uh, not looking too bad. Sorry that I'm not talking much guys, I am really like concentrating. There we go. That's a crescent moon, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm like over that already. Okay, next I'm going to go in with a Jeffree Star highlighter. Oh sorry, skin frost in the shade Ice Cold. And I'm going to take that and pop it on my inner corner of my eye. Because she has also got that on her look. Is that enough? It's never enough. It's never enough, I think. Okay. We are almost done. Next up lips oh yes we're going in with unicorn blood but first I'm going to outline my lips with a black um, eyeliner or you can use a lip liner whatever and then I'm going to blend the two yeah. I can't draw straight lines. By the way, yes, I have wonky lips. Just saying. <laughs> okay, I'm going in. I'm 
is going to blend my fingers a little bit. to do this hat seriously um it is pretty simple to do um if you want to do a glam halloween look so if you like this video please give a big a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon because it helps me out so much go follow me on both my instagram pages because yes i need that many people to follow me to feel loved and I will see you guys next week for another magical look. <laughs>